Hey friends, good morning. This is Abhishek from TechVirus and in this video, I'll be telling you how you can manually upgrade the firmware of Samsung phone. Yes, you know that you can easily upgrade firmware of your phone using the phone about device and update your softwares or you can use Samsung switch to upgrade the firmware. But there is a third option using Odin. So why do we use Odin? We use Odin if phone is corrupted, it's not getting upgraded using uh, the default things like Samsung switch or the software updater in the phone itself. So now in this video you can see that I have Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and this is running on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop Edition and you already know that we have Android 6.0 version available for Samsung devices already like six months before but now here you can see that uh, the software updater is not helping me to update this particular Android version from uh, lollipop to marshmallow still shows that the latest updates have already been installed so now you can see that the date uh, is 20th November 2016 and it's quite late like when uh, marshmallow was released but I don't know why this particular phone is not getting upgraded so in these situations you need to use Odin it's a third-party software but it's quite reliable I've been using Odin from past two three years and I have not faced any challenges with this particular software now let me show you how you can download the latest firmware for Samsung mobile phones and Odin software to upgrade your firmware just go to Google and search for Samsung firmware you'll get the first website which says as firmware Sam mobile click on this particular link and you will see this site first thing you need to do is you need to create an account and log in once you have created your account and once you're logged in just go to the my model number and type in your phone detail in this case it is Samsung Galaxy Note 5 and here you can see that there are two models and my model is SM 920 G as I have shown in the about device if you don't know which is your model go to settings about device and you will find the model number now the next thing is once you search this particular mobile phone it will give you the list of all the firmwares which is available for different countries so you need to select the uh, country which you are staying in so for me like I'm staying in India for me I have to select the Indian firmware so here is the India firmware which is updated on 1st of November and version is 6.0.1 so I'll just click anywhere on that particular row and I'll get regular download and fast download so I just verify the details and click on regular download so if you're logged in you will be getting this particular page if you're not logged in you will get another page where you need to sign up and then you can download this particular firmware just to note that you will get these kind of uh, advertisement and you have to wait for 30 seconds before you can download so be patient do not cancel this you will get download link once you click on download you can see the download will start but the speed will be quite slow and it will take some uh, two hours to download if you have premium account you can download it quickly so now you can see that I have already downloaded this particular firmware in my system and this is the zip file first thing you need to do is unzip this particular file so you can use WinRAR you can use WinZip and once you extract this this will create another folder and you need to get into this particular folder and check if you have got the file yes if you see this md5 file and size is approximately 4.1 GB that means like the download is successful and there is no issues with the file now just to make things simpler I'll keep this particular file on my desktop so that when I run Odin it will be easy for me to find you can keep this file at the default location also because we just need to browse and select this file now the next thing is to download the Odin software so you will get the Odin software at the same page where you have downloaded the firmware so here you see that Sam mobile where you downloaded the firmware if you go down you will see the download Odin link you just have to click on the download Odin link and you will get the zip file also make sure to read the instructions for the Odin now once the Odin is downloaded you have to just extract the Odin in the similar way we have extracted the firmware now I have opened the Odin software and you can see that we have these options here now as per the instruction mentioned on the site we have to use this particular MD5 file the firmware file to AP 
we don't have to select any other thing we just have to select AP and then browse for that particular file and it will take some time and it will load into the Odin software so just wait for a couple of minutes sometime it will show that the Odin is not responding it's like getting freezed but have patience it will load it will take uh, some for some system it takes more time some system it takes less time because it's a 4 GB file and it will take time to load into the Odin software so once it is loaded it will check the MD5 and it says checking MD5 was successful now the next step is to connect your mobile phone to your laptop or desktop using the data cable alright now we have the data cable and the mobile phone ready for the firmware upgrade the first thing what you need to do here is we have to turn the phone off and then put the phone into the download mode so I'll tell you shortly like how you can put the phone in the download mode so once the phone is off you have to do some key combination this works with most of the Samsung phones just hold the volume down button and the power button and the home button all three buttons should be pressed at the same time then wait for some seconds you will see this particular warning sign coming up on your phone so leave all the buttons and then here you can see that volume up will continue and volume down will restart the phone so you have to press the volume up button to continue getting this phone into the download mode so when I press the continue button here you can see that the phone is in download mode now you don't have to turn off this phone just keep the phone like this and then connect this phone using the data cable as I told you before uh, just simply plug in the micro USB port on the phone and then you can connect the other end in your laptop or desktop where you are using the Odin now as soon as you connect the phone you will see this particular thing getting activated on your Odin so this means your phone is being detected by Odin that's good thing once it is detected just click on start and the system will start installing the firmware and the progress bar on the top will start increasing sometime it will give you error so try changing the USB port in this case also like I have tried uh, using the uh, front USB port and it was not working so I used the back port and it was working now here you can see that uh, on the phone as well the progress bar is increasing that means the new firmware is getting downloaded to your phone through USB cable via Odin software so you need to be patient it will take 10 to 15 minutes to completely install this particular operation so once this thing is done the Odin will show as pass and green color icon will be highlighted now you have to just click on exit button and you can close the Odin button and as well as you can remove the USB cable from your phone now here you can see that Android is upgrading and uh, the optimization of app is happening so I have not removed the cable but you can remove it I have tried once more and uh, you don't have to keep the cable plugged in as soon as the Odin says pass and the green icon is highlighted on Odin software so here you can see that Android is upgrading and starting the apps it will take some time and once it is done you will see your old screen but with the new Android operating system just to add like the fingerprint will ask you to reconfirm the password or the pin number what you have set before because of some security purposes Samsung has added this functionality like once you reset the phone or you upgrade the firmware you need to reconfirm the password and once you reconfirm the password everything will be quite fine now here you can see that the phone looks gorgeous all the apps are still there everything is in the same place so you don't have to worry about the data loss or application loss or any other settings will not go away even you are using Odin to upgrade your software now let me quickly show you which version we are now at and here you can see that we are at version 6.0.1 that means we have successfully upgraded from lollipop to marshmallow so this was my video guys to upgrade the Samsung firmware manually using Odin so guys I hope you liked my video if you like do subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to my video and if you have any other question or query regarding this video please mention in the comments below I'll definitely get back to you and help you to upgrade your firmware 
So thank you very much again for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.